Dissociation of strong and weak acids in aqueous solution. Okay, so let's do a few examples. And what we're going to do here is take strong and weak acids. We'll talk about what that means, the difference between those two. And we're going to put them in water. And when we put them in water, they're going to dissociate into ions. And so we should keep in mind that acids are ionic compounds. So they're going to separate into ions in solution. Now, acids actually ionize to produce hydronium. So that's the hydronium ion. Now just to give you a little example and show you what we're talking about, let's say that we just have some general acid HA and let's say that this guy is a strong acid so we're going to use a single arrow and we're going to say that it ionizes completely into H plus plus A minus. Okay, so it's going to ionize into those two ions. Now, this H plus is actually, in aqueous solution, it's actually hydronium. So the more correct way to write this would be HA plus water, show it explicitly, and it's going to dissociate into hydronium and the conjugate base. Okay, and that's A minus. Now, again, these are still just ions, okay? Because all that happened was that this water, that H plus that the acid lost, it just attached it. It just bonded it, okay? So we just have, so we have hydronium and the conjugate base. So let's do a few examples. I'm going to go to the next slide and we'll go through a few specific examples. Okay, so how about uh, let's do hydrobrom hydrobromic acid first. Okay, so this is hydrobromic. Now we, when we take hydrobromic acid and we put it in water, so we're going to put it in aqueous solution, We are always going to produce, now hydrobromic acid is a strong acid, and we're always going to produce hydronium, so basically the water molecule with H plus attached, and the conjugate base this time is going to be the bromide anion. So let's go ahead and move that over a little bit. So we're going to have hydronium and the bromide anion is the conjugate base. All right, so that's an example of dissociating a strong acid in water. Now, what if we have something like, let's do hydrocyanic acid, HCN. Now, this acid actually demonstrates why it's important to remember your polyatomic ions because this is cyanate. That's the cyanate anion and that's not going to split up in water and so it's not going to dissociate and we're still going to have H plus. Okay, so let's put this guy into water and we'll take hydrocyanic acid and that's an aqueous solution. Put this guy in water now, it, hydrocyanic acid is a weak acid, and when we have a weak acid or a weak electrolyte, anything weak only partially dissociates in solution, we're still going to get the same products, the hydronium ion and the conjugate base, but we're going to use a double arrow for weak. And that means it's only partially dissociated. So now we're going to end up with hydronium again and 
cyanate anion, and that's the conjugate base. Okay, now, right now, at this stage, you don't need to worry about what the conjugate base is. That'll come in Chapter 16 a lot more, but I'm just calling it that to get you used to it. But it's basically the anion that's left over after you take the H+, plus, after you take that proton. Okay, so let's do another one. So why don't you pause the presentation and do this one. So this is HF, so hydrofluoric acid, and this guy is a weak acid. Okay, so let's go through that one. So we have hydrofluoric. And he's weak. So we take hydrofluoric acid, put it in water. It only partially dissociates, but we're still going to produce the same products. So we're going to take that, just rewrite that really fast. So we're going to take that proton, it's going to stick on water, oops, forgot my positive charge there, and we're going to have fluoride anion left over, and that's the conjugate base. All right, so how about an example of a diprotic acid? So this is our last one. We'll look at sulfuric acid. Okay, so what we're going to do, this one has two protons that it can lose, so 2H+. plus. So it's going to lose it in two steps. And the first step is strong, because sulfuric acid is a strong acid. And so we're going to take sulfuric acid and water. And that's going to dissociate into hydronium, as before. And this time we're only taking one proton so far in our first step. So what we have left over for the conjugate base is the sulfate anion with, a, it still has a hydrogen, so hydrogen sulfate. And then we're going to take this guy and we're going to put him back in water and dissociate him. So let's take this conjugate base from the previous step, this anion, we're going to put it in water again. And this time it's weak. And we're going to lose H plus again, just as before, and make hydronium. And then finally we're left over with the sulfate anion. Okay, so there's some examples of both strong and weak acids and a diprotic or polyprotic acid.